Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Illustrator and how to restore your tools in your toolbar. Quite often I get questions people tell me and say, where's my join tool or where's my pen tool or whatever. There's always some, something like that, something vanishes. Well, how to get them back. Now I'm using Illustrator 2021. I think this is available in earlier versions, some earlier versions anyway. Obviously going back a long way, perhaps not. So got a load of tools here. Say one's missing. Well, what you can do, just go down here, right down to the bottom, there's an option here, Edit Toolbar. Click there. Now, I haven't got any tools missing, so you can see they're all there. But say I decide, you know what, let's get rid of a couple of tools. Just get rid of a couple. I'm just going to drag them in there. Just a couple of these graph, <laughs> very rarely used the graph tools. In fact, I don't think I've hardly ever used the graph tools, but put some of them in there. So now, suddenly I would turn around and say, oh, my column graph tool is missing. Well, what I can do, I can simply just go, let's go up there, click there, and just find it in this long list, and you can see all of the tools, and they all should be there. If they're not there, then there's going to be a problem. So if they're not there, I don't know how you get them back then. You'll have to restore the whole of Illustrator, I would imagine. So simply go there, and if you can see it highlighted there, obviously those ones are in the tools, these ones are not. So what you can do, simply drag across. And of course, you can also, if you want to, which I don't particularly want to, but I'm just going to show, for example, you can move them to different positions. So you can also put them there, put them there. So you can have a whole load of different tools all over. Now, as I never use these tools at all, particularly, I'm not going to keep them there. But for purposes of this, I just keep them there. So you can see you can move them around. You can also, if you want to, while you've got this, of course, you can move that around as well. I don't like particularly moving them around, but you can if you want to. You also notice I've got some tools there, my AB line tools. Obviously, they're ones that are going to be coming out fairly shortly. A whole load of different features there. At the moment, it's still an arrow tool, but it's not. Now, with those, you've got all the various there. You can move them. And if you want to, you can always reset them. So you can just come up into this top, and there's a reset command. So you just say reset there, and it's reset. So theoretically, it's put them all back. And hopefully that's the case. I haven't checked. I'm certain that they put them all back in the right order. Also, what you can do, you can also go to basic. So you can reduce it down to what it considers the basic set. And if you want to bring back individual ones, you can see all of the various flare tool, etc. Obviously, I just don't think the flare tool is that important. The polar grid tool. What? That is one of my favourite tools. I love the pole. That should be in the basic. Unfortunately, you've got no control over what's in basic, what's in advanced. It just says this is the advanced and this is basic. Personally, I always keep it. And also, you've got a new tool. I'm not going to go into that here. But you can. I'm just showing how to restore the tools. So that's really useful. I would love to see Illustrator if they increase the size. Because trouble is, if you end up with adding lots and lots of tools, and there's quite a few tools around now. What happens is it gets longer and longer and longer. So it would be nice if you could actually extend it to make it three or four. Unfortunately, there's no way of dragging it out. It's just still a column of two. However, that is the way. Simply just go down here, edit toolbar, and you can see all your tools there. I say if you go to basic and you've got your basic set, go there, and then you can simply drag over, say, the arc tool. I like the arc tool. So I'll put the arc tool there. And you can see it's restored back again to there. Well, I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always add new tutorials all the time. Always add in on Photoshop, Illustrator, Affinity Photo, and many others. Also, please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Any comments, please put below. Sort of anything I've did wrong, whatever. Please let me know. A dislike or like. Thank you much.